Last year, in the United Kingdom alone, there were over 1,200 caravan fires. How do these fires start, and how can they be prevented? This film will attempt to highlight some of those dangers that can be found when living in a caravan or in a mobile home. One of the major causes of fire are carelessly discarded cigarettes. If you must smoke, use metal or glass ashtrays. Make sure you put out all cigarettes. Don't smoke in bed. And be extra careful after a few drinks. Too many plugs in one socket could cause overheating. Turn off all heaters, cookers and TV sets last thing at night or if leaving the caravan for some time. Make sure electrical wiring is well maintained and appliances are in good order. Don't use multi-way adapters. Don't run appliances from a light socket. And don't take chances with electricity. Get advice. Never leave children alone in the caravan and make sure that matches are out of reach. Remember, smoke and fumes from a fire can kill, especially in a small home. Chip pans that are left unattended or overfilled are another major cause of fire. Place cookers well away from the door to avoid being trapped. And if possible, fit a cooker guard. Be extra careful when drying clothes. Never use petrol, paraffin or diesel when lighting a solid fuel stove. And remember, heaters do need air. Open a door or a window. Get a base hearth that will not catch fire and take out the ashes with a metal ash pan. Never store gas cylinders underneath or inside the caravan. Always keep them in a safe area well away from the trailer. This fire has been started by a drop cigarette. The smoke from this fire could kill you even before the flames appear. Toxic fumes can kill a person in less than a minute. From the time when this fire actually started to when the hoses were played on the fire took less than two minutes. If you live on a site that is fairly remote, it could take up to 10 minutes for the fire brigade to arrive. If this was your home, you will have lost everything, your clothes, your possessions, or even your life. So what can you do if fire does break out in your home? The first thing to do is to raise the alarm. Make sure that every member of your family knows that there's a fire in the caravan. Pick up the children and get out immediately. If it's smoky at head height, get on the floor and crawl. Get older children to collect the smaller ones and get out quickly. And 
most important of all, don't go back inside for any reason. Call the fire brigade. Remember, be careful how you put out cigarettes. Never leave chip pans unattended. Don't overload electrical sockets or tamper with electrical equipment. Make sure you turn off electrical equipment and pull out plugs before you go to bed. Don't store gas cylinders inside your home. Place them away from the caravan. If you obey these simple rules, you are less likely to have a fire in your caravan. And if a fire does break out, you must give your family an early warning. Fit a smoke detector. This will warn you in the day and wake you at night. Remember, call the fire brigade. Get everybody out. We hope you appreciate some of the points we've raised in this film. Remember, a few moments thought could mean the difference between life and death. Maybe even just fitting one of these, a smoke detector, could save your family's life. Remember, last year in this country alone, there were over 1,200 caravan fires. Make sure you're not one of those statistics. There were 1,200 caravan fires last year on official sites. 1,600 fires altogether. 13 people died. 90 were seriously injured.